why don't you jet propulsion lab your ass to show us what the deal is. Okay. Comet Ison. Thor News presents Comet C-2012 S1 Ison. And WTF NASA. Seriously, bro. Part 5. Hot pixels, sucker. The funky debunked junk in the trunk that IMHO kind of stunk. So let's get crunk. Yeah. Hot pixels, baby. Allow me to erase the chalkboard from proper scratch and start fresh. In space, no one can hear you scream. Every day. T minus five, four, three, two, one. And this is a Thor News presentation. Are you cool? Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor News science upon you. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. All right. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Why? Welcome to the latest episode of Asteroid Fight Club. I gotta take Fight Club up a notch. How much can you know about yourself if you've never been in a fight? Wait. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. I am the Indiana Jones of astronomy. And here we go. All right, it is now time for a Thor News Bare Bones Breakdown. Hello, Dave. Okay, cool. All right, I knew there was a reason I was on Twitter obsessively this morning. And sure, at the top of my subconscious, it felt female-related. But no, even when I tried to pull away, it was like, you can't. You must stay focused on Twitter. I was like, why? No, make it stop. And then, boom, there it was. What the hell? Whoa, do we have the next Comet Ison on our hands? Is it a dud? It's a dud. It is a dud. It's definitely a dud. Is it a dud or is it mother freaking Planet X? I don't know, man. I'm getting really excited. I'm getting really excited. But it's kind of doomy. I don't know if you can handle that. Can you handle that? All right, for our newcomers, let's get back to the basics. What is a comet? Well, you see, in Thor News description, a comet is like a magic, flaming, glowing, bright cat dragon snowball. And you never know what it's going to do. Eh, most of the time it's dead. It doesn't even reach binocular level. Or, I don't have friends who have cool enough binoculars where I'm like, hell yeah, that was a cool comet in these binoculars. Um, in science, it's a dirty snowball. Which is weird. Cause to me, it's like a dirty snowball. is like New York. If you're in a gang fight back in the day, and, and you're shoving like pieces of glass and nails and stuff in your in your snowball, trying to hit the other gang members with snowballs. Cause <sighs> anyway, we can get no reasons. I think the name dirty snowball is really dumb. And that looks like it's right between. Looks like a neutron star surrounded by three planets. Okay, why am I talking so crazy? You're talking about comet comet C2017 K2 pan stars. It's a perihelion, January 2027, right? It's by Saturn on the opposite side of the sun. They say it's a, it's a possible 14th magnitude. All right, are you freaking out yet? First of all, when they found Comet Ison, they're like, oh, yeah, we might see it in like a year. And so that's when it all started. It's like, oh, my God, Comet Ison, Comet Ison. Everyone's like, Comet Ison to be relevant. in, oh, my God, Planet X. And it was a year out. Pretty much somewhere around there, right? This mofo is perihelion is 10 years from now, right? And so look at the photos we're looking at it right now. It's 10 years away, and this is the photograph, right? Hi, see Bell Bet 47? Early days, but data from tonight suggests maybe T-2023, and it comes close enough to 1.7 astronomical units. Let's hope so. Here, it's only 19.3 magnitude and it moves only 2.6 arc seconds in 19 minutes but i can already tell you it's that far away and it's that big that is amazing and we'll get to the amazing one here in a second find orb gives ju.5922 which means it passes close to jupiter maybe that's why we're seeing big changes in its orbit okay so it's the second fascinating thing we've heard in this whole thing right find orb gives a possible closest approach to a planet but it could mean that it's not dynamically new that sounds like science talk for trying to downplay it, buddy. So longer arc for better E and T. Whoa. For better moids. And moid stands for my orangutans in the basement. It says what? Uh, no, it doesn't. That means the meaning of orbits indented downwards. No, it doesn't either. Okay. All J95 astronomy here. Bert Whistle. Man, I'm scared to kick. click that link. We'll check tomorrow. If the orbit settles down, we'll see what may be in store for visual observers by subtracting G2 
two or three magnitude from H0. Now we get to the super fascinating part, which is when I jumped to my microphone and said this could be way better. Asterisk and Comet Ison. And what was that? Wow. Hashtag Comet and with HO of 1.7 magnitude. Okay. Comet magnitude is like golf scores, meaning the lower the number, the brighter it is. I think the sun is like zero magnitude, or the moon is like a two magnitude, or like three magnitude. I don't know, I have to look it up, but that means this thing is going to be super bright. Ten times the size of the moon, if they're anywhere even close. And remember, this thing is so far out, supposedly it's going to take ten years to get to perihelion, which means closest point to the sun. <sighs> so I don't know what this is, man. But I'm dropping this to you guys right now, saying this is major comet information. Which means I may have a whole nother series in my hand. Yeah, it's very fascinating. This is very, very fascinating. Okay, Womit. Wow. Comet with HO 1.7 mag. It'd be around visual. HO 0 mag or brighter. Should be binocular object for many months in 2022-2024. No way. That's... Alright, somebody... Have I gone crazy? Somebody correct me. Seriously. Am I getting too excited? This is... This is... All right, let's let's go a little nuts. I'll do a better video after. I'm gonna do some information about the chairs with you guys. This is all right. That I, am I reading this properly? All right now and now a thousand YouTube videos shall follow. Not by me. I probably want to do like fifty of them. All right, stay cool. Peace out. God bless everyone. We are back in the commentary action. That has me excited. I'm very excited. Oh, this could mean doom. Real doom. Real, real doom. I was thinking about doing the best of my comedy and stuff anyway. All right. Peace out. You know me. I'll cover this story with maximum humor and integrity. All right. Peace out. God bless everyone. Don't ask me, man. I've never worked a Hubble in my life. Why is it special? NASA won't shut up about it. It's a sun grazer. And it could be up to 15 times brighter than the full moon. Why is it special? Where'd it come from? We have no fucking idea. Its origin is unknown unknown. We don't know. I mean, that's a fine photograph and all. Why can't I have like 10 of those, 100 of those, 200 of those, 300 of those stacked together? I want to see that baby in action. I want to see her move. I want to see glimpses of her specialness. A photograph of a horse running is not the same as a horse running. Why haven't you given us more than one photograph? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we now have the final chapter in the Comet C-2012 S1 Ison epic saga. All right, if you're new to the story, let me recap it for you. Some cracked out wino lying in the street told a reporter that Comet Ison could be the comet of the century and up to 15 times as bright as the full moon. And that every science publication ran with it, though no official professional scientists did. Or will own up to the comet of the century name, man. And then I did 55 episodes, it was all weird. And then I got celestial egg on my face. And now we're just waiting for the pig pen cloud to see if it does anything or if it's even there. Thor News presents Comet C-2012 S1 Ison. Well played, NASA. Well played. Comet Ison.